Hello friends and welcome back to Swift Lessons for another By Request song tutorial. Today I'm super excited to welcome back Caroline Kane to the channel. How are you doing Caroline? Good, happy to be here. So you all might remember her from a lesson I did a few years ago on Joni Mitchell's California. And if you'd like to watch that performance, you can click up here in the, uh, actually this corner right here, that'll take you to that lesson, see another performance from Caroline. But today we're going to be playing for you Fast Car by Tracy Chapman. We're going to play through the whole song and then I'll break everything down for you. You ready to get started? Yes! All right, here we go. Let's do it. One, <clears throat> two, three, four. You got a fast car. I want it to get to anywhere. Maybe we make a deal Maybe together we can get somewhere Any place is better Starting from zero, got nothing to lose Maybe we'll make something Me, myself, I got nothing to prove You got a fast car I got a plan to get us out of here I've been working at a convenience store Managed to save just a little bit of money Won't have to drive too far Just cross the border and into the city You and I can both get jobs And finally see what it means to be living You see, my old man's got a problem Live with a bottle, that's the way it is He said his body's too old for working His body's too young to look like his My mama went off and left him She wanted more than life than he could give He said somebody's got to take care of him So I quit school, that's what I did You got a fast car Is it fast enough so we can fly away? You gotta make a decision Leave tonight or live and die this way So remember when we were driving Driving in your car Speed so fast felt like I was drunk City lights lay up before us Your arm felt nice wrapped around my shoulder And I, I had a feeling that I belonged And I, I had a feeling I We go cruising, entertain ourselves You still ain't got a job I work in the market as a checkout girl I know things will get better You'll find work and I'll get promoted We'll move out of the shelter Buy a bigger house and live in the suburbs So remember when we were driving Driving in your car Speed so fast, felt like I was drunk City lights lay out before us Your arm felt nice wrapped around my shoulder And I, I had a feeling that I belonged And I, I had a feeling I could be someone Be someone, be someone You got a fast car I got a job that pays all our bills You stay out drinking late at the bar you see more of your friends than you do your kids I'd always hope for better Thought maybe together you and I would find it Got no plans, I ain't going nowhere So take your fast car and keep on driving So remember when we were driving Driving in your car Speed so fast, felt like I was drunk City lights lay out before us Your arm felt nice wrapped around my shoulder And I, I had a feeling that I belonged And I, I had a feeling I could be someone Be someone, be someone You got a fast car But is it fast enough so you can fly away? Gotta make a decision Leave tonight or live and die this way
Okay, a close look at the fretboard and also my pick in hand, getting started with the intro section. Bear in mind that we're also going to be applying the techniques that we learn here to the verse sections throughout the song. We're in standard tuning, we have a capo here on the second fret, and we're in the key of A major. Demonstrating the intro section, it's gonna sound like this. Nice and slow. A one, two, three, four. Okay, let's break that down. Okay, following along using your tablature at patreon.com slash swift lessons, we're tackling the main riff. It's gonna be the first two measures of the intro section, which we are going to apply to all the verses. Again, it sounds like this. Okay, so measure number one. We're taking the chord C major seven, but all we need is our ring finger on the third fret of the A string relative to the capo, and our index finger on the first fret of the B string. We're going to use our thumb for the A string and our middle finger for the B string throughout the song. I'm gonna double pluck those two strings together and make sure that I get a little bit of the G string as I do. Now, as I do that, I'm gonna hammer on to the first fret of the B string. Okay, then I'm gonna remove the index finger again, go back to C major seven, and do an upstroke with that middle finger on the B and the G strings. Now I'm gonna to transition to a variation of the G major chord, middle finger, third fret, low E string, ring finger on the third fret of the B string. I'm gonna pluck those two strings together, again using my thumb and my middle finger. All right, and once again, I also got a little bit of the G string on that upstroke with the middle finger. Okay, then to finish that measure, we're going to play three zero, B string, G string, middle finger, and index finger. Okay, you put that measure together, it sounds like this, nice and slow. One more time. Okay, now we're gonna finish the main riff. We're gonna go up to E minor, okay? Again, speaking relative to the capo as if it wasn't there. Okay, so I have got relative to the capo, seventh fret of the A string, and I also have eighth fret of the B string. Okay, now I'm gonna pluck those strings together again, thumb and middle finger. Then I'm gonna pluck again, but that's gonna be nice and quiet. Okay, so it's double, and then just that upstroke on the B and the G strings. Then my index finger goes down a whole step. I'm using a major shape now. It's going to be D major. Okay, so the double pluck with a little bit of the G string, and then we're going to play B and then G. Seven, zero. Okay, put all that together, we have Now, as you're heading back to repeat that riff again, there's kind of a little optional ghost note, just the open A string. Okay, then you're going to repeat the riff. So, you hear how that can kind of fill in the space in between the repetitions. Just like that. Okay, so if you're looking at the first line of tablature that you have there on your PDF study guide, you can see that we just repeat that riff twice through. Now, moving on to the second line of tablature, we're going to have a really beautiful melodic variation to what we just played. Okay, so the first measure of that variation was the same as the first go around. The difference is going to be between the E minor and the D add four, okay? So that's going to be E minor, do the double pluck on the A and the B strings, get a little bit of that G string in there, 
then reach your pinky out to that uh, 10th fret relative to the capo, the actual 12th fret. Okay, if you want to get more of that G string involved in there uh, during these kind of melodic sections, you can do that. Okay, so that was double, 10, 8, then go down to the D chord, and then you're going to do the double pluck, grab the 8th fret of the B string, and then go back to 7. Okay, then we're going to repeat the main riff once more. To complete the intro section. Okay, very good everyone. Now let's see if you can play along at a slow tempo through that entire intro section. A one, two, three, four, and... Okay, and then that will get you into the verse section. Okay, excellent work everybody. You have the intro section down, and in doing so, you've learned the majority of this song. Now, taking a look at the verse, we're just going to apply the first two measures of that intro section. All the way throughout each of the verses. But just one little thing that I wanted to kind of introduce to you is that if you wanted to, you could replace that riff for open position chords. C, G, E minor, D. Which might be a nice thing to add in, especially if you were performing as a solo artist. So, the kind of root chord progression is C major to G. Down, down, up up, down, up, okay? Moving into that G chord in the middle of the strumming pattern. Then you'll do the same thing to the chord E minor and D major coming on the upstroke. You put all that together and we have... Okay, a very nice option that you can do instead of... that main riff. Now, let's jump into the chorus section. Okay, tremendous work everybody. We have the intro and we have the verse sections complete. Now we're jumping into the chorus, one of the last parts you need to learn to be able to perform this song. It's gonna sound like this at a slow tempo. So remember when we were driving, driving in your car, speed so fast for like I was strong. City lights lay out before us and your arm felt nice wrapped around my shoulder and I I had a feeling that I belonged And I had a feeling that I could be someone Be someone, be someone Okay, let's break that down. Okay, so that was all fingerstyle strumming. The key to getting a nice, even, very smooth sounding tone from your fingers is to not dig into the strings too much. A lot of players kind of complain that when they strum without a pick, it sounds bulky and it sounds sloppy. Well, make sure that you're not digging into the strings too much. Use just the pads of your fingers or the very tips of your fingernails to sort of brush against the strings rather than striking them with a lot of force. So, a downstroke with the pad of the finger, that's going to sound nice and smooth, very, very soothing. And the same can be done with the pad of the index finger. Now if you're doing uh, a technique where you're using the nails for a little bit more of a trebly or bright tone, make sure again that you're just brushing against the strings to get that nice soothing sound that doesn't overpower the mix. Okay, so that chorus section came out of the main riff. I remember when we were... We'll start off with the C major chord. Going back and forth between C, C major 7, and then back to C with a pop strumming pattern. Down, down, up, up, down, up. Okay, where exactly you come in back to the C chord is up to you. It could be a single upstroke of the C major 7, or you could do two upstrokes. Alright, the same thing's going to be applied to G major, G add 9, and then back to G. 
Okay, adding your middle finger to that second fret of the G string and blocking the A string. That's line number one on your chord sheet. We're going to apply the exact same thing to E minor and E sus4. Just adding your pinky to the G string second fret with the pinky. Then we're gonna go to the D major chord. We're going back and forth between D, D sus2, removing the middle finger from the high E string. Okay, so that was down, down, up, up, down, up. And because of the rhythm of the lyrics, I like to have two upstrokes with that D sus2 chord. Okay, so back to the E minor, to the D. Okay, now moving on to line number three of your chord sheet. It's gonna sound like this. Okay, so that was C to E minor. Okay, down, down, up, up, down, up. Again, the pop strumming pattern is so easy to apply between two chords. Just make sure you're switching on the upstroke. Then we're gonna go back to the D major chord and apply the exact same thing we did before. Okay, then we need to repeat that verbatim for line number four. Then we're gonna have two quick chords. B someone, B someone. Okay, so that was just C. I'm gonna slap the strings. Let the D major chord ring out before repeating the intro riff. Okay, playing through that entire chorus, let's see if you can play along. One, two, three, four. Driving, driving in your car, G. E minor. Minor, D, sus2, C, E minor, D, sus2, C, slap D, let it ring, and play that intro riff two times before getting into the next verse section. Okay, very good everyone. We have the intro, we have the verse, and we have the chorus section. Now we're jumping into the outro, the last thing you need to learn to be able to perform. It's gonna be a slight variation to what we played in the intro. The first two measures will be verbatim. That main riff. Then measures three and four of this outro will be a little bit different. Just that E minor going to the D. We're gonna add in that 10th fret relative to the capo on the B string. Okay, get that timing down. All right, then repeat the main riff again. And then we're gonna finish up nice and short with. Okay, letting that G major chord ring out with just the beginning of that main riff just like that. Congratulations, everybody. You're ready to perform. All right, friends. Thanks so much for checking out this lesson on Tracy Chapman's Fast Car. I hope you enjoyed it. Big thanks to Caroline Keene. Thank you so much for lending your vocal skills. I want to thank my patrons. Also, thank you for making all these lessons possible. Thanks to you guys. I've got many more lessons coming up. So keep checking back. Please subscribe. Please share. This is Robert Swift Guitar Lessons in Philadelphia saying happy picking.